It was mid-Friday afternoon and Fiona, the mother of the Smith residents, was completing a few last-minute chores before relaxing for a quiet weekend. The telephone rang as Fiona was bringing in the washing from the backyard. She quickly moved towards the back door and opened it. She dropped the washing basket and proceeded towards the telephone. She would not have anticipated what had just eventuated. Her daughter Alex has been involved in a major bus crash. Both students and teachers were suspected casualties. The accident was on the journey home from a year 10 skiing trip from Mount Buller. The expected arrival time was later that evening. The teacher also mentioned that Fiona would receive a second phone call from the school as soon as possible with further information. Fiona walked towards the kitchen table. She sat down, not knowing exactly what to do. Fiona was trying to quiet to remain positive and calm, but it was useless. The tears were falling down her face, fearing the worst. Fiona was speechless and devastated at the possible outcome. Fiona managed to walk to the kitchen sink to try and keep her mind off proceedings. She attempted doing the dishes, but it was pointless. In a state of hopelessness, Fiona walked to the telephone trying to compose herself enough to call her husband to tell him about the horrific crash. As the conversation progressed, Fiona couldn't hold the emotion inside of her any longer. Talking about the accident made her feel even worse. She struggled to finish the conversation. She threw the phone down. As Fiona approached the kitchen table, her shaking and crying became more visible. Fiona was worried sick at this point. She really needed some support. <laughs> Megan was arriving home like, with her friends yeah, from shopping yeah, in the city. I, 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 I Fiona looked okay. up because she could hear her daughter Megan coming home. Happy and bubbly, Megan had no idea what she was entering into as she opened the back door. The silence and look of despair said it all. Megan moved towards her. Fiona attempted to explain the bus crash, but it was hard for her to maintain the conversation. They were now both crying and shaking and fearful of the outcome. Sounds of a car down the driveway became evident with the father Gordon returning home from work. As he walked through the door, he raced towards Fiona and attempted to calm and console her. Then everyone stopped still. The telephone started to ring. Fiona refused to answer the call. Gordon slowly and nervously proceeded to the telephone. Me, but it was know, a false alarm. It was only Nana accident, wanting milk. What's happening? Very serious. Don't know what's going the suspense on. Suspense was building. The much awaited call was growing closer. Fiona walked into the lounge room to clear her head. She sat down on the couch. No one expected this to happen. Fiona picked up a photograph of Alex from the display. The silence of the house was deafening. It was dark, quiet and depressing. It was the fear of the unknown. Suddenly, several pairs of eyes looked directly at the telephone. Gordon picks up the Hello? telephone and receives the news. Hello? 